Hello. Today we look at polyatomic ions and naming compounds with polyatomic ions. Polyatomic ions is a group of elements, in this case a group of nonmetals, that combine to form one single unit. And we treat them as such, one single unit. They, are, they have mostly a negative charge except for one, in this case NH4, which is ammonium. Everything else besides ammonium has a negative charge. Of course, the charge is written on top, right-hand side, like in the case of nitrite, which is NO2 charge of negative one. Okay, we're gonna name polyatomic ions with metals. We name these polyatomic ions and we think of them as non-metals because they do have a negative charge. And all we have to do is look at the table and name them with the metal. Let's see how, it's, how it works. Let's do an example. Let's name the compound that is mixed with, let's look at gallium, gallium charge of two. Let's combine that with, let's pick chlorate. And I see that chlorate itself is ClO3. ClO3 with a charge of negative one. When we name these compounds, we don't change the ending of the polyatomic ion. If I have to name it chlorate, then I name chlorate. I don't change it to chloride like I did with the single elements. So gallium and chlorate will simply be gallium chlorate. However, we gotta be careful because gallium is one of those elements that appear more than once on my table. So I will name this combination gallium, I need to be specific, two and chlorate. Therefore combining gallium two with chlorate is simply named gallium two chlorate. Now let's, let's be specific now. How do I write this compound itself as a formula unit? So I am combining gallium two and chlorate and the charge of gallium is two, as we said earlier, two, and this two will be applied to chlorate, and the one from chlorate will be applied to gallium. So when we write this compound, the elements remain the same, which means it is gallium and it is chlorate, ClO3. But since I keep chlorate as one unit, the two that is given away from gallium to chlorate will be added to the whole unit. Therefore, the combination of gallium chlorate will be GA parenthesis ClO3 parenthesis 2 because this two, this two came from gallium. That two came from gallium and the two is given to the whole unit, ClO3. Not only to C, not, on, not to Cl, sorry, not only to O, but to the whole unit ClO3. Which means that I have in this case two pieces of ClO3. This means that I have two pieces of ClO3. Let's do another one while we're here. Let's name the compound that is combined with. Let's pick on sodium. So let's name sodium charge of one, positive. And let's pick on this side. Let's work with chromate. CrO4 charge of negative two. So sodium and chromate. CrO4, CrO4 charge of negative two. When I name this compound, naming is, is simple, it's just sodium. And sodium only has one charge, so I don't have to say which sodium it is, it's only one sodium. Sodium chromate. Okay, that's the naming of the compound between sodium and chromate. 
how do I write this compound, okay? The two from chromate goes to sodium, and the one from sodium goes to chromate, which is just one, nothing else, nothing is received. So the compound of sodium and chromate is written in A, two, which came from chromate, CrO4. And I don't write the one from sodium because it is understood that it is a one if I don't write anything. Let's pick another one. And we have to be careful as to which ending to use because the elements, the, the polyatomic ions, have similar terminations. In the case of chloride, okay, it could, be, it could look the same way as chlorate, but they are different, okay? Chloride and chlorate are different. So let's work with this. Let's work with chloride. And let's name, let's combine iron here, of course, I need to pick which iron it is. Let me combine iron three, okay? So Fe charge of three with, I said chloride, ClO2. ClO2 charge of negative one. Being very careful because chloride is ClO2 and chlorate is ClO3. The difference is just one oxygen. So when I name this, this is just iron three chloride. And when I make this into a formula unit, it is Fe parenthesis ClO2 parenthesis and the three from iron goes to chloride and three here of course outside what this means is that i have three units of clo2 let's do one last one let's combine let's combine phosphate and let's combine sulfur so i'm working with sulfate phosphate sorry phosphate phosphate there you go pr of four and i'm also working with sulfur i know that sulfur is in group 16 charge of two negative two so let's name these compounds phosphate and sulfur sorry i cannot do sulfur because sulfur is a non-metal let me rephrase that. Let me pick on, let me pick on aluminum. Aluminum, charge of three. And phosphate, PO4, charge of negative three. Okay, just like in the old rules, those three will be disappearing. And I name this aluminum phosphate and the combination of them it is ALPO4 those three will be cancelled because they are the same in the same token let's do one last one I promise this is the last one okay let's combine steel aluminum with Let's pick on phosphate. So aluminum with phosphate, so, sulfate, sorry, sulfate right over here. Aluminum charge of three, I have that already, and sulfate charge of negative two, sulfate, SO4 charge of negative two. Of course, the two goes to, the two goes to aluminum, the three goes to sulfate on the outside, and I write this as follows, and I'd say that it is aluminum sulfate, aluminum sulfate, and the combination of them would be AlSO4, 
outside three from aluminum and next to aluminum two from sulfate. I hope this helps you out.